hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks i really appreciate your coming back and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial we are going to learn how to design a wedding memo using adobe photoshop without further ado then let's get started then i'm going to use a4 paper size in this tutorial then make it inches then allow landscape and leave your resolution at 300 so if you are to print then make sure that that you change it to cmyk color then if it is for media then choose rgb color then you click grids so then here now i'm going to apply a guideline then i'm going to view select new guide so under this vertical, I'm going to apply 50%. So you can see here. Then I'm going back again to apply 55% and 45%. Then apply 95%. then 5% now we are going to change it to horizontal then 5% and 95% then the rest I'm going to do it manually by applying the guideline this way at the bottom here then go back to view and lock the guideline so that your guideline will not be removed okay so having done this one the next thing now i'm going to draw a rent angle then you come over here then you draw a rent angle then i'm going to change this color then come over here to copy your color ctrl plus c so this is the color over here then after this one then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j or you drag it over here then you come here then to copy this color code so Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now I'm going to draw a cycle. Hold down your shift key, then while you draw a cycle, Then change the color to white for now. Then I'm going to position it around here. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then I'll reduce the size like this. Then I'll position it somewhere here. I'm going to reduce this one. increase it then i'm going to increase this one this way okay now i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j then i'll drag it over here so having done it done it like this so the next thing i'm going to do now then I'm going to select it, hold down my shift key, then I'll select the tree. Then duplicate it or you drag it over here. Now I'm going to change the color. Okay, let me copy the color from here. So this is the color, Ctrl plus C. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Ctrl plus V to paste. 
Now I'm going to reduce the size. Hold down your Alt key. Then you reduce the size this way. Alright, so then again, I'm going to duplicate it, hold your shift key, then you drag it over here to duplicate it. So this time around, so hold down your shift alt key again, then while you reduce the size. Then on this one, I'm going to apply a gradient overlay and here is the color, then Ctrl plus C to copy, then come over here, select the gradient overlay. So here is it, then I'm going to paste it, right click, then copy it, then right click here, then you paste it. Click on this one, then you paste it. So even though you don't have it on this one, so there is no problem. So if, let me remove this one. Then on this one, I can change the color. So something like this because I will apply an image over there. Okay, so having done this like this, so the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to this background here, then rasterize it. Then I'm going to select my lasso tool. Then I'll come over here. Then I'll click here. Then go come over here. Then I'll click here. Then click out. Then I'll delete. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. So this is the outcome of it. So the next one now I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a rent angle. Then I'll come over. Yeah. Something like this. Then remove the fill column. Then apply a stroke. Then make it the size 8. Then apply dash dash. Okay. Then rasterize it. Then pick your laser tool and I'm going to select here. I select here. Then I'll delete it. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. So this is what I have. Now what I'm going to do next now, then I'm going to bring in my test and this is the font i'm going to use fair prosper and century 751 then i'm going to copy this test here ctrl plus c to copy select your test to then ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to change the font to fair prosper then increase the size then i'll position it somewhere here then ctrl plus j to duplicate it and i'll bring this one over here then go back to your test copy this one then ctrl plus v to paste then always remember zoom in and zoom out to see how it look 
then I'm going to select the two then increase the size this way then I'm going to select the layer then I'll pick my mock tool then I'll drag it from ear to ear okay it's okay then I'll delete ctrl plus D to deselect so something like this okay having done this one then I'm going to click on this background here then and I'm going to import this image then reduce the size then I'll drag it up here I'll drag it up here then rasterize it then hold down your shift plus control key then you press U so to desaturate it now I'm going to apply a layer mask then and I'm going to blend the bottom here something like this so now great a clippy mask right click and great a clippy mask so select the layer then why you reduce the opacity then also reduce the fill something like this all right so having done this one so the next things again to do then i'm going to to bring this brand here reduce the size then rasterize it then go to your magic tool then you select it then you delete ctrl plus d to deselect then select your market tool then and delete this test here ctrl plus d to deselect now so also go back and select your market tool then i'll draw then you remove this one ctrl plus d to deselect now what i'm going to do now then i'm going to apply black and white i'm going to change this one drag this one back here then you drag this one back then apply clipping mask so that it will only affect this one then you drag it here reduce the size Okay, then I'm going to bring this test here. Then select a test to why I'm going to do it manually. Then I'm going to change the font to this font here and make it bold. Then I'm going to type F, sorry, Ctrl plus Z. Then select this one so that what I'm going you are going to type it will come out. Then select this one, then make it bold. Now increase the font size. Then control plus J to duplicate it. Select your test tool, then why you change this one to S, then duplicate it again, then you bring this one over here, now reduce the size.
So something like this. Okay, now I'm going to select this one. Then select your test to click out here. Then I'm going to copy this test here. Then change your font and control V to paste. Then increase the font size. Then I'm going to bring it over here. Then I'm going to change the font color to white. Reduce the size. Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then go back to your test and copy it. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you reduce the size. Alright. Then having done this one, then I'm going to select and test to again. Then I'm going to type this letter here. Then bring it over here. Then select the test tool and change the font. Make it bold. Increase it this way. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I will reduce the size. Something like this. Then go to your image. Then I'm going to import this one. Then rasterize it. Then select your market tool. Then highlight this one. Right click and make a copy. Now I will delete this one because this is what I need here. Then control, then shift plus U. Sorry, control Z. Control plus U. Then you drag this one to the white area. Then I'm going to copy the corpus name. Then select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the font size. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then I'm going to change the font. Then also change the font color. Reduce the font size. Then duplicate this test here. Then go back to your tests and I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then 
then I will drag it over here and reduce the size then duplicate it Ctrl plus J to duplicate it then I will drag this one up here then you bring it down over here then I'm going back here then I'm going to import this ring here reduce the size so I'll position it under then I will change to soft lights then reduce the opacity 64 is okay then the next thing I'm going to do now I'm going to copy this one then select your test tool then Ctrl plus V to paste reduce the font size now I'm going to alight this one why I change the color to red okay so having done this one now then i will still reduce the size of this one okay then i'm going to click here then go back to your image and i'm going to import this image then reduce the size Then right click and create a clipping mask. So you can see where this color comes from. So this color you are seeing here is from here and the background color. So everything is picked from this image. All right. So we are done with the first page here so now I'm going to group it I'm going to group from this place from this place then I will say this one for test then why this one for the background then and I'm going to I'm going to duplicate it control project to duplicate then I'll move this one up then hold your shift key then why I will drag it over here okay then this is the first one then I'm going to rename it that is front design and this one now is going to be the the back design okay then select this one right click and flip it horizontal so then you will get this now i'm going to remove this image i'm going to remove this image so on this one then i'm going to rasterize it and convert it to smart objects then i'm going to import this image now reduce the size then right click and create a clipping mask all right so then on this one again 
then convert it to smart objects then I'm going to bring this image reduce the size then right click and create a clipping mask so here we are now after I've done this one so the next thing I'm going to do now then I'm going to duplicate this ornament ctrl plus j then I'll drag it up then I'll position it here then I'll close this one now I'm going to move it over here let it be center alignment then ctrl plus u then you drag this one to the black area then you click ok all right now i'm going to bring this test ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to now i'm going to change the font to fair prosper then ctrl plus v to paste then increase the size then I'm going to reduce the size of this one why I will increase this one like this okay now I'm going to select my test tool again Then I'll click over here, then change the fonts. Then I'm going to copy this appreciation test, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now reduce it. Then I'm going to apply center alignment. Centralize the test. So something like this. Then use your arrow key then to move it up. Then I'm going to bring this one. So from here then to here. Then I'm going to group it and I'm going to rename it something like this then I will duplicate it ctrl plus j then drag it up then I'll position it over here now I will move it over here reduce the size all right so then the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to select my rent angle then click over here and i'm going to drag from here then down over here then i'm going to remove the fill color then apply stroke color then i'm going to increase it by eight then and change it to dash dash now i'm going to convert it i mean rasterize it then select a lesser tool and I'm going to delete it then select from here
then I'm going to delete it the control plus D to the select so you can see okay now that we have this one so the last thing now to do then I'm going to draw a rent angle something like this then I'm going to import this barcode reduce the size then I'll place it over here right click then I'll create a clipping mask so here now then you can type something then you can type something like this then I'm going to change the color to red then make it bold then control plus J to duplicate it then you can type in your identity or the name that represents your organization or company something like that then i'm going to apply this color here so something like this okay so that is all for this tutorial thank you so much for watching please remember to like subscribe and share thank you i really appreciate your following